I'm starting off with MAC Fix Plus. I am going to spray it all over my face and blend it in with a sponge. This is for some moisturization and to make the look more long lasting. For primer, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer Base. This is a pore minimizing primer. I blend it into my skin really well. It doesn't make your skin extremely matte, but it does blur your pores and imperfections. So in today's video, I am going to use a lot of Wet n Wild products because I purchased them recently and I really want to test them out. Next is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator in Medium Tan. I really messed up with the shade. I thought that it's called Medium Tan so it's gonna look okay on me but it's definitely light for my skin tone. I can still pull it off because the coverage is very light. It's just like a tint just to make your whole face a single color. I'm going to spread it all over my face with my hands and then I will be blending it in with a sponge. Just dabbing it in so that it doesn't look too light. Once I blend it into my skin it looks completely fine. For concealer, I will be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Medium Tawny. I will apply it under my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, chin and I'm also going to use it to cover my hyperpigmentation since this concealer is very close to my skin tone and I really like this concealer. I love the finish, I really like the coverage, it's medium to full coverage and it looks very natural on the skin. It's also very lightweight. For blending the concealer, I'm using the Pack 218 Concealer Brush. For setting my face, I am going to use the powder from Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and I'm using the Pack 245 powder brush to apply it in the areas where my concealer settles in the fine lines, that is under my eyes and my smile lines basically. Then I'm going to define my eyebrows a little bit after which I am going to use the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Shaping Gel to brush them up. I really liked the brow gel and for defining my eyebrows I used the Sugar Eyebrow Definer. Just so you know the eyebrow gel is not colorless, it has got a little tint. It's brown in color. For eyeshadow, I will be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette in Call Me Sunshine. This is a new palette. I am testing it out for the first time today. This has got some beautiful warm toned shades. First, I will be using a transition shade on a fluffy blending brush and applying it all over my eyes, eyelids, crease, everywhere. Next is this deeper warm shade and I'm just going to apply it into my crease. So we're slowly building up the crease. And after that I am going to use this neutral brown shade and first I'm going to apply it on the outer corner and then just take it to the crease. This is how I basically apply my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to use this golden shimmer shade and pressing it on my eyelid using my fingers. This was a really beautiful shade and I really loved this palette. Then I'm running a couple of matte shades on my lower lash line just to connect it to what we have going on on the upper part of the eyes. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm picking up the lightest shade from the palette and applying it on my inner corner. For eyeliner, I will be using the Maybelline High Impact Tattoo Liner. This is a felt tip eyeliner. It's extremely black. It has a matte kind of finish. And I'm just using a little bit of this eyeliner just to give my eyes a little bit of lift. So I'm just applying a little bit of eyeliner on my outer corner. As you can see, I'm not taking it to the inside. This will just lift my eyes a little bit. I also want to make sure that the wing is as clean as possible. Then I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. All the products that I use in today's video are going to be linked in the description box along with the brushes so you can check them out. Next is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. I just love this bronzer. If you have dusky skin, you should try out this bronzer. It gives a beautiful warm glow to your skin and I'm just applying it where I generally place my contour. But it's a really beautiful warm tone bronzer and if you have a warm undertone, you should definitely give this a try. For blush, I am going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine, another great shade for dusky skin. Um, this is a matte blush, so I'm just picking it up on this plume brush and applying it on the high points of my cheekbones. I just apply a little bit of extra blush for this look because, you know, all of my hair is pulled back. So I really get that space to apply a little bit of extra blush and it looks amazing. And during winters, you can apply a little bit of extra blush. Then I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Hello Halo blush lighter. This is supposed to be a blush plus highlighter but not on my skin tone. It can be that for lighter skin tones but for me it's just a highlighter. It gives a very nice and subtle glow to your skin. I used both the shades. I mixed the shades together and I'm just applying it on the high points of my cheekbones, on my nose, on my cupid's bow, chin and a little bit on my forehead. And ultimately, for the lips, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in Sandstorm. This is a really beautiful warm toned brown and it looks amazing with this makeup. And that's it for this video. This is the completed look. The only way to master this look is to prep your skin as properly as possible. Make sure that you understand your skin type properly and prep your skin properly before makeup. I made sure that everything is placed properly and it's applied properly, basically no messing up. And yeah, it's this very natural, warm, toned look. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.